Hi everyone, lovely to connect with you. I wanted to share a few thoughts about One Church One Day, which you will have heard of and many of you have connected with it with. I'm in the, the prayer centre in Hope Chapel. This was this was built on the back of one of our four dreams, which is to be a prayer centre for the city. And we believe God's leading us into a season to continue to raise prayer in our lives individually and as a community. One of the ways we do this is through an initiative called One Church One Day. Silas and Annie felt called by God to start a movement which, as it says on the tin, calls different churches, so 30, 31 or more, to take a day of prayer, 24 hours of prayer every month, and in that way see the city and the region covered in prayer. We Hope Chapel was the first to say yes to this initiative, and we've been praying every month for, from January 2019, we have an August light, as you know, and also a break as we change over the prayer hosts in January. It's been incredibly strengthening to have that rhythm in place, especially when COVID hit, we were able to keep that rhythm going day and night and see some tremendous breakthroughs in prayer. At the beginning, one of the first lockdowns, the Prime Minister had a health crisis and we were able to pray through that, as I'm sure many people were in the nation, and see that breakthrough. And then more recently, 50, 60 churches got on the back of the initiative in the light of the April riots. Can you remember those? April 2021, there were riots in Bristol, but 50, 60 churches all joined together and took one hour or 24 hours through the month of April to pray for peace and prosperity in the city, ranging from the Orthodox right through the spectrum to the more Pentecostal churches, a really beautiful time. In the light of that and in the last year, Silas and Annie have connected with some six or seven other churches who are now praying as well, taking a day a month. So the movement is growing and it's really exciting. I want to encourage you all as we come back in a sense into this new season of seeking to raise prayer in the city and raise prayer in our lives as part of our embodying hopes dream to be a prayer centre of the city to connect with one church one day it's the first tuesday of every month the one in september will be coming out the schedule will be coming out soon and it's a great way to say yes to this call we're going to be super sensitive and honoring to the hosts so there'll be a whole range of options for september could be in the prayer center here it could be online or in hope chapel or outside depending on what people are comfortable with but the great thing is to do is not say I've never done it before, that's not really me, to switch off when you hear it because it wasn't you in the past, to think I don't really know how to pray. None of those are true or real. What's true or real is what the Father is saying right now. So I'd encourage you to simply say, God, is there a way for me to connect in to one church one day? And if so, what time do I do it? It's really exciting. We will not look back. And I really believe God is taking us into a new season where whatever we ask for in prayer, we will receive. And his promise is that if we do that, our joy as we see prayers answered and breakthroughs come will be complete.